suppose uh, we have an integer so an integer is called a uh, square free so square free is that term if it is uh, not divisible by a square of any prime right so for example uh, so if any uh, prime factor is there so the highest power is 1 so that is the mm. thing right so it is not divisible by any square of prime so for example if i take 35 so this is uh, 5 times 7 right so this is a square free number Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Right. So up to this part is clear, right? So then the uh, the question is. Both uh twenty five is uh uh fifty is not uh. Where yes yes fifty is not uh, square feet. So yes, it is uh, not square feet. because uh, 5 square divides 50 yes so the question is prove that for every n greater than equals to 1 uh, there exists uh, uniquely uh, uniquely determined a uh, positive and b positive says that i can write a n as a square b uh, where b is square free yes mm. the question is clear right so i can always uh, for any given integer uh, that is greater than equal natural number i can always write it in this form a square plus b mm. where b is square free mm. so for example uh, this uh, this example what you given right uh, i can uh, write it as i can take a as 5 and b as 2 right mm. so i can write it as 5 square times 2 Then B, the part B is square free, right? But when n equal to three, ah, uh, three, uh, n equals to n equal to three. What? Okay. Yeah. Uh, n equals to three. Okay. So you are saying uh, n equals to three. Yes. Yeah, so then it is uh, just a is one, right? One square times b is three. I can take b can I can take b as three. Hmm. A a I can take one. Hmm. Right. So if the number itself is square free, then b is the number, and a will become one, right? Hmm. So b, a b e uh, should be a uh, pramanas. No, no, that that is uh, that we don't know. Uh, a and b can be composite. So for example, let us see one more example. So suppose uh, a n equals to two uh, square times three square times five square. Times seven, right? Suppose this is my number, mm. right? Then I can write it as six uh, square times thirty-five, right? Mm. Then a is my six and b is my thirty-five. So this is my expression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Understood, right? Yeah. So yes. Yeah. So how to do it for general uh, any values of n? so we'll start with a uh, prime factorization so so since n is greater than 1 we have prime factorization mm, let n equals to p1 to the power alpha 1 p2 to the power alpha 2 up to p k to the power alpha k right mm. 
Mm. Okay, so once we have this, then we define. So the thing is, this alpha one, alpha two, alpha k. So these are the uh, powers, right? Or exponents of the prime. How much uh, prime mm. is there, right? Mm. So this can be uh, even. It can be odd, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Right. So it can be even. It can be odd. So what will I do is, I uh, take this divided by two, and take the floor function. This floor function, you know, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this floor function is a integer that is nearest to this number but less than that number, right? So, uh, so what I take is a I take as p one to the power alpha one by two p two to the power alpha two by two and so on p k to the power alpha k by two. Okay. Mm -hmm. And b, I take p one to the power alpha one mod two, p two to the power alpha two. So you will understand why we are doing this. And p k to the power alpha k mod two. Right. So what will happen is, so if I, uh, if alpha is even, then uh, it will become zero, right? Any Modulo two, it becomes zero, right? Mm. And if alpha is odd, then uh, it will become one, right? So what I can see is any alpha i that is the exponent, alpha i, I can write it as two times this alpha i by two, the floor plus alpha i mod two. Is it fine? Can I write like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So the since uh, we are taking modulo two, uh, if the maximum power is one, right? Either it is zero or one, right? So mm -hmm. b how we have constructed b is always square free, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, by our construction, b is square free, right? And then so so hence. Our n I can write it as a square times b, right? Is it fine? Mm, why? B mm. is square free, yeah. N for one, b for two. Mm. For example, n for one is uh, six. Right. Uh, six, no, six, seven, seven divided by two. Right. Okay, let us uh, see an example. Equal so, to, uh, so, suppose your n has two things. Suppose p1 to the power seven, uh, p2 to the power five, or let us take six. Right. Mm -hmm. Then what will be a? Three. Right. So P one to the power three times. Term mm, uh, two. Uh, uh, three. Yeah. Right. P two to the power three. And B will be. B will be uh, one. Right. One. To the power one. Yes, and P two power zero. Right. Hmm. Right. So it is eventually P one power one. So now n I can see it is uh, a square times b right because p1 cube p2 cube whole square times p1 right so it is p1 to the power seven p2 to the power six right okay. Three, why is it? Uh, three, three, that's fine. All right. Three, so is the uh, two, two. Mm -hmm. If uh, 
อันไทอีทรีอะไรโมเดสีจูอินวันอะไร so since uh, we are doing whole square right so square means it becomes three times two right that way it becomes six p one to the power six no, yeah yeah uh, yeah it's okay get this this example is okay but uh, I am consider uh, alpha is uh, one two or three yes is anything we can have suppose uh, alpha is one right suppose uh, you have power only one then this one will become zero right hmm And it will go to B, right? Zero. Zero b uh, three two is uh, one. Okay. And two also. Uh, two will become one. One. Ah, uh, okay. Three. Ah, uh, it's it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Hmm. So. Yes, up to this part is clear, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Mm. Right. So now the thing only left is we have to show. Ah, uh, they are saying that uh, uniqueness. So this A and B are unique. That part we have to uh, show. So we'll assume contradiction. So suppose I can express, I can give another expression. Suppose A equals to C square times D, right? For C greater than zero and D greater than zero, right? So then, I have a square b equals to c square d. So this implies that a square divides uh, c square d, right? Uh, but d is square free. So a square cannot divide d, right? So this implies. That a square has to divide c square, right? Mm. Now similarly, we can if we start from the other side, uh, we get that uh, c square also divide the a square, right? So this implies that uh, c square and a square has to be same, mm. and from here a and c has to be same because both of them are positive. So mm. once uh, a equals to c, then uh, from this equation, a square b equals to c square d, we get that b is also equal to d. Right. So hence, uh, the expression is unique. D is way free. Yes. D is way free. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I say okay. Hmm. Oh, oh, it's okay. Okay, right? Hmm. Okay. So next one is. Oh, prove that. n power four plus four is composite. Now, uh, if uh, n is strictly greater than one, mm. 